Hello guys, welcome back to Sports Corner GH. My name is Adam. Today is Friday and I want to begin today's video with a video from someone in Kum talking about why Ghanaian should not force Andre are you out of the Black Stars? Watch this video. You have a team, you have to have experienced players and the young ones, okay. you understand? Mm -hmm. Because the young ones cannot just come mm -hmm. just like that. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to have experienced players inside that they can also motivate them, mm -hmm. they can also encourage them. Exactly. Because I, I don't think at the moment we have to maybe kick maybe Andre are you or mm -hmm. maybe some of the old players. No, he have to be in the team, give them confidence say a lot of encouragement stuff to them because I think that this is how teams supposed to be. Mm -hmm. We cannot allow all the young players to go just like that. But we have to have some key, play, key players yeah, inside yeah. which they can also lead the team, motivate them. And So guys, you have seen the video. Let me know your thoughts about it. See, someone in Kum is just saying that we shouldn't force Andrea you out of the Black Stars because we cannot build the Black Stars around only young players. At least we should have one, two, or three experienced players in there to motivate the players, to tell the players what it means to play for the Black Stars. Both on and off the pitch, there should be some sort of leadership. And that is why we need Andre Ayu within the Black Stars squad. In my own opinion, I feel like Andre Ayu in the Black Stars squad should be used as a super sub. Andre Ayu can steady the game before coming off of the bench so that he can be impactful for us. Looking at his experience, but then Coming from someone in Kumi, says that we shouldn't force Andre Ayu out of the Black Stars. What is your opinion about it? Let me know that down below in the comments. Now, today is Friday. I want us to do something interactive. So, I was on the internet and I saw this, this particular picture here. Now, if you click FPL, I'm sure you understand how the rules go. So, you are like a coach and you have a budget and you have to pick players every week. Now, that is what you are going to do here. With a budget of seven cities. I want you to pick your perfect black star midfield from what you see here. I'm going to go through it very, very quickly. So we have three CD column. We have the two CD column. We also have the one CD column. In the three CD column, we have Michael Asian, Suli Ali Mutari, Stephen Napia, and also Mohamed Kudus. With the two CD column, we have Thomas Pate, Andre Dede Aliu, Lyle Kingston, and also Kojo Asamoah. One CD column, we have Kelvin Prince Boaten, Mubarak Wakaso, Anthony Annan, and also Ajiman Bidu. So, guys, you have seven CD. As a coach, who would be in your perfect black star midfield? Midfield shoe. Let me know it down below in the comments. Let's interact. Let me know who would you pick as your perfect midfield. In my own opinion, I believe a midfield should be balanced. So, there should be a number six, a number eight and also a number 10, depending on the opponent you are going to face. Some coaches would like to go with the approach of having double pivot or playing two DMs, as we have seen with the Black Stars quite of late. But then I want a balanced midfield, a number 6, a number 8, and also a number 10. So this is how I'm going to pick with my budget of 7 Cs. With a 3 CD column, I'm going to go in for Michael Isier. Yes. We all know Michael Eason when he played for the Black Stars. Even at Chelsea, he's a legend. Chelsea players or Chelsea fans, they do not joke with Michael Eason. He's a legend there. Even in the Black Stars, you have seen Michael Eason anytime he enters into that Black Star team. Even though he has not played a lot, though, but anytime he's available to play, you have seen that you know, experience, you have seen that quality he gives on the pitch. So he is going to be in my midfield as the first midfielder. Second midfielder, I'll go in for Mohamed Kudus, another three cities. So I, that means I've spent six cities. I'm going to go in for Mohamed Kudus to play my number 10. Because I think currently, if you're looking for the best Black Star player, both at club level and also in the Black Stars, it's Mohamed Kudus. Maybe, yeah, you can call me a Mohamed Kudus fan, that's why I'm saying that. But then, tell it, I've seen Mohamed Kudus play through the junior national team, uh, to Black Stars World Cup, to the half court. Currently, if Mohamed Kudus is not in the Black Stars squad, we can't even score goals. This guy plays crazy. Yes, he's a star boy for a reason. He's a reason why if he goes to any team, he, like, we all see the quality he possesses. So I would love to have him in my team as a number 10. As for that one, no joke. So I'd like to have Mohamed Kudus in there with me, in my midfield too. Now I'm left with one Ghana CD. With one Ghana CD, I'm going to go into P 
speech, Anthony and Anne, I know you and I would agree that. When it comes to Black Star, DM, you have never seen a DM who has played like Anthony Annan before. As for that one, let's just be truthful. Anthony Annan, ah, bruh, what are you trying to see? Anthony Annan, ah, where ask Mikel Obi, where ask Mikel Obi, Anthony Annan, or oh, Papa, or oh, Papa, Anthony like Anthony Annan, eh? I don't know. I don't know. Anthony and I'd be like, I wish we have an Anthony and I'm type of DM in the Black Stars, like currently. We don't, aggressive, aggressive, open aggressive. So, guys, this is my midfoot to you. Like, Michael Eisen, Mohamed Kudus, and also Anthony and I. Guys, let me know yours down below in the comments. I feel like this is more balanced. This is very balanced. You have you know, a, a DM in there, you have a player who can push the ball and give passes. Also, you have, you know, a Mohamed Kudus at number 10 who can, you know, you know, juggle in between playing midfield, you know, setting transitions and everything. So, this will be my midfield trio. Now, in a case we are meeting an opponent where we have to play, like, uh, two DX or, like, you know, double pivots. I mean, this is how I'll go. I'll, I'll, this is how I'll, I'll go. And... I would pick, first of all, I'll pick Steven Napier. Yes, I'll pick Steven Napier. Now, people consider Steven Napier as a number 10, but I feel like he can play that gear position very well. So, I'll go in for Steven Napier. He's very aggressive. He's mature when it comes to his passes. Because if you're playing a double pivot, you need that one of the DMs to know how to pass. So, I'll go in for Steven Napier. Three cities. Also, I'll go in for Ojoa Samoa. Two cities. I'll go in for Kojo Asamoah in my midfield two cities. Yes, I believe Kojo Asamoah would be in my midfield for me two cities. And then I'll also go in for, hey, that is five cities, right? Okay. So I'll also go in for um, Thomas Pate. Hey, midfield regra, hey, Charlie, Steven Apia, Kojo Asamoah, Thomas Pate. Guys, let me know your thought about it. I'm going to confuse this, but then I believe Thomas Pate would give me that edge when it comes to passing. Thomas Pate is not going to, he's not that aggressive, you know, midfield that you would want. But then Thomas Pate is very intelligent. And Thomas Pate has a very good passing range. So for me, if you're going to defend a lot, then you need a midfielder who can pass. A midfielder who can identify a very good spot and pass to you so that you can, you know, hit your opponent on the counter. So I'm going to go in for a midfielder who know how to pass. When you're playing a double pivot, the reason why when the Black Stars are playing and we suffer is because our double pivots, they don't know how to pass. They don't know how to give pinpoint passes. But then if you're going to play a double pivot, at least have somebody who knows how to pass in that midfield. So guys, in my own opinion, I'm waiting for Steven Apia, Thomas Patel, Kojoa Samoa, just to say that is if you are playing a double pivot. But then let me know your thoughts. I mean, the second one, I'm a bit confused, but then I think it's perfect in my own opinion. So guys, with seven cities, build your perfect midfield for Black Stars. Let me know that down below in the comment section. I'm going to reply to all your messages and also all your replies. Thanks for joining me. My name is Adam. I'll make sure to see you in the next one. Charlie, we go wide.